uh, the outline of, of the moon. So it's just beginning. It's just beginning to move across the face of the sun. It's a lovely image there. And you know what you're seeing. Something worth remembering when you look at images like this is you're actually uh, that we don't often see, which is uh, not just the new moon. This is the moon that occurs every lunar month, but we never see it. So the moon's eight, uh, uh, it's as closer now than it has been for 18 years, is that correct? Uh, 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 the, the current uh, point of the moon is that um, it's not actually closer than it has been for 18 years, but it is at a close point in its orbit. Right. It is at a close point in its orbit. So it is what we call a supermoon. It's also a new moon. It's when the moon, the sun and the earth are lining up in the sky. Uh, but this is actually such a perfect alignment that in astronomy, we have a special word for it. We call it a syzygy the edge there starting to cut into the face of the sun that will just begin to grow and cut more and more of the sun away you, you were telling us uh, earlier that we're getting a triple whammy aren't we today because yes we've got the eclipse we've also got the the equinox the, the spring equinox and the super moon that's right um, so we've got a super moon a super moon occurs when the moon is within a sort of the 10 percent closest uh, point that it can reach in its orbit around the earth it is an elliptical orbit that it makes it is the spring equinox today astronomers say that's the first day of spring so that's occurring today let me tell it doesn't feel like the first day of spring. Uh, it doesn't feel like it right here. I can see lots of people here perhaps not quite as prepared as they want to be this morning. It is a chilly day and, and as you say the temperatures will suffer a little bit more uh, as